It is a section 3.3, data approximation and reviews method. We have studied how to construct interpolating polynomials. However, in many applications, an explicit construction of the polynomial is not needed. We only need the values of polynomial at specified points. In this case, the function underlying the data might be unknown so that the interpolation error uh, may not be easily analyzed. Nubilis method provides an adaptive mechanism for the evaluation of accurate interpolating values. Here we have a definition for inter interpolating polynomials. Uh, function f is defined at x1 to xn. And now m1 to mk are distinct integers uh, between 0 and n. Uh, the polynomial that agrees with uh, at the points uh, from xm1 to xmk is denoted by p sub m1, m2, mk. Uh, this is um, notational definition. Once uh, uh, the interpolating polynomial is made uh, along with uh, uh, such points, uh, part of the points, then the polynomial is uh, denoted by here the, the point index uh, uh, used uh, for subscripts. Okay, let's see this example. x0 is 1, x1 is 2, and here x3, x, x1, x2, x3, x4, and the underlying function is e to the x. Now, let's try to determine the interpolating polynomial uh, p1 to 4 and use this polynomial to approximate f over 5. p1 to 4 means that we are using here x1, x2, and x4. Okay. So here, uh, if we try to get a Lagrange form of uh, interpolating polynomial, and we can get here. Now, for the first point, uh, x1, and now the corresponding cardinal function is given in this way. Uh, here, x minus 3, uh, that one, uh, x minus 6, and then here, copy this one for the bottom, and x is replaced by 2. That's the cardinal function corresponding to the point x1. Now, uh, at the point, the function value is e squared. So for other basic functions, uh, you can consider uh, similarly. So by using this uh, interpolating polynomial, we may approximate the function value x is 5, then here, uh, by plugging 5 for x, we can get that one, and the value is about 218. On the other hand, the true value is about 148, so the uh, polynomial is overestimating the function value. Okay, here uh, we have a theorem. Uh, it is by Neuville. F is defined at m plus 1 distinct points, x0 to xn. Then for each ij, j is larger than i. Here, pi to j, that means that the interpolating polynomial using the point xi, xi plus 1, and up to xj, n, evaluate the x the value can be made uh, in this way. So here, 
this portion is missing the first one, uh, xi, and used here, x minus xi. Now, for that one, the last one is missing, and xj, so here used that. The difference divided by the last point minus the first point. So that's the formula for every x um, uh, is true. So once x is specified, then we can find the value at x for the interpolating polynomial. Okay. Let's see here some um, uh, the examples. P01, uh, that is now here by using the formula, it's the same as now that's P1 of x and x minus x0. And now that is P0x and x minus x1. And this one is x1 minus x0. For P12, just uh, we uh, add one for uh, the subscript, and we can get that one. Now, P012, uh, that is now, the bottom is x2 minus x0. And top is, for this portion, now first one, 0 is uh, not here. So used here, x minus x0. And minus, for this one, x2 is not used there. So x minus x2 times that one. Okay. Uh, so here, once we try to um, the uh, table construction, then yeah, that is x values, and that is now y values, and so that that is um, by using one point x zero, x one, x two, x three, uh, the that is the corresponding zero through the constant polynomial or y values, and then for uh, this one p zero one we uh, can get that one in this way. This value uh, times uh, for given x, once x is spe specified, then x minus x0 minus and x minus x1 times this value divided by x1 minus x0, that is this one. Also for that one, okay, we'll follow the formula, then uh, now here, for x minus x1 times this value minus x minus x2 times this value and divided by x2 minus x1. And for that one also, here, um, here, x minus x0 times this value minus x minus x2 times this value divided by here, x2 minus x0, we, we are following that. In this way, we can construct the table. Okay, here, uh, however, once we are using uh, this notation, then here we have two subscripts and three integers in the subscript and four integers, so it is not easy to deal with that. So here we introduce um, another array, and now ij, so i is the last one, and here j is here basically earlier j components. For example, p0, 1, 2, 3, the last three, three and we are using earlier three. We get over there, that one is now last number three, and again, including earlier two, and that is now last number three, and including the earlier one points. In this way, we define uh, new array Q having two subscripts, then uh, now Q can be considered as a metric, right? Okay. And that is x value, and this is uh, y values, and here uh, going in this way. Now, uh, anyway, the diagonal is a sort of a approximated value, and here uh, this value 
is uh, the, the, the opposition with the value from now the polynomial um, using interpolating polynomial using x0, x1. Now that one is also approximation using three points. That is now using four points so that all diagonals are uh, just the uh, approximations. We'll see through the example. Yeah. Now x0 is 2 and x1 is 2.2, 2.3, 1.9, 2.15. We'll use uh, Neville's method to approximate f uh, 2.1, uh, which is now f is here a logarithm, natural logarithm, in a four digit accuracy. So, underlying function is a logarithm. So, uh, we can get here data. These are x values, and along by using logarithm, we can collect the data points. Okay, by using uh, the width method, we uh, make interpolation and we can get the width table and four at point uh, 2.1 so that uh, in the formula now x is uh, specified to be 2.1. Okay, then Okay, here, uh, this is uh, that one, P0, and P01, and these diagonals, look at here. Uh, that is, now, these diagonals are just uh, uh, the evaluated value from the polynomial. Uh, for example, this one is now 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, 0, 1, 2, 3, in fact. So uh, that is here, 0, 1, 2, 3, that one. Uh, that means that um, this is, um, okay, so the value is the same as in this way. We are using first the four points, x0, x1, x2, x3. By using this one, we can make an interpolating polynomial and by using the polynomial, we try to get uh, the value at 2.1, then that will be exactly this one. Now that one is now here, by using all points, we can make uh, approximating uh, the interpolating polynomial, and from the interpolating polynomial, just try to evaluate the value at uh, 2.1, then we can get that one, okay? Uh, in this way, every uh, value along the diagonal uh, uh, it is uh, an approximation. Okay, here, now, so that we try to measure the difference here, then that is now uh, this value, if we try to measure that value, then here, uh, we have that. Uh, in this problem, it is requiring to approximate uh, the value in a four-digit accuracy. So here, now, the difference is uh, smaller than four-digit. And, and so, uh, roughly speaking, Q33 is already in a, a four-digit accuracy. And is not 100% guaranteed. However, earlier when you are learning iterative algorithms, and rather than the true error, we try to control the difference between consecutive uh, iterates. So you may consider uh, these values as consecutive iterates, so that the difference is a small uh, uh, small enough or smaller than the given tolerance, then we may consider uh, that is uh, convergent. Okay. So that's the reason in the beginning for Neville's method, uh, it is uh, providing, we say, the Neville's method provides um, the adaptive mechanism 
and, and, and that solution we say that here so by adding more points uh, once um, it is satisfied the tolerance is satisfied then we can stop if not then we can add one more point one more point and keep going until the the tolerance is satisfied okay now uh, here q through three uh, uh, is already in four digit accuracy we can check it now the real value is this one so that absolute error is this one so that now q through three is a really uh, accurate approximation this is the pseudocode for the width method input is uh, separately saved in an array, uh, nodal values, and, and tolerance, and y, 0 to yn, uh, this is the first column of q, and so index is 0, and for that, now i loop and j loop, and i, I loop is out loop, which means that is low-wise computation. In, um, in the hand computation, uh, for, co uh, uh, co for convenience, we try to get column-wise computation, but in practice, uh, mostly it is implemented low-wise way, so that for each addition of the point, and we can do it in, in row by row, uh, the computation. So it's much more convenient. Okay, so once uh, the diagonal, and current diagonal, and earlier diagonal, uh, the difference is bounded by a tolerance, then we stop at the iteration and return uh, the value. Okay. Okay, for this example, mm, here, uh, here are uh, already and the Wills method is used to approximate f at 0 0.3. So for that one, now uh, x is here 0 0.3, and the table is made uh, x values, and now that is here the y values, so that f of uh, x2, in fact, that is y, y sub 2, which is same as f at x2. Uh, and here, now, uh, that is now first column, second column, and, 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 and last one. Already, it is uh, the method used to, to approximate f at 0 0.3. Now, the question is, now, we want to get this value here in table uh, manipulation biasing this two and this value we can get that so once it's known then you can get this one but it's unknown it's missing and here again once um, to get that value uh, biasing this two value and this two point value you can get that but again, this is missing. So here, you may start from last one, biasing these two. You can get that. And of course, over there, these two points. And biasing the formula, you can get this value. In this uh, the manipulation, this is unknown, only the unknown. So that you can solve for this value. So you decided it. Once it is decided, then you can decide this one. Again, you can decide this one, right? Just uh, uh, try to do it uh, yourself. This example will give you a very good uh, uh, practice for the understanding the uh, Nubius uh, formula. Okay, try to do it. Okay. This is uh, end of the section. Thank you.